Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. You know this is your girl Cindy with Decor More, your lifestyle channel. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful fall day and I decided to share with you part two of our fall porch reveal. So you guys grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab whatever you may need so that we can get right into this video. today's video we're going to talk about how I put together this fall front porch and starting with these chairs these chairs these nice little swivel chairs I've had them since I've um, actually since we built the house and uh, they've always been a part of our front porch and what I did today was we just simply power washed these chairs the cushions just to make sure that they was nice and fresh and then we added some um, some of these pillows just to make them a little bit more comfortable so the coffee time could be more so fresh. you guys the first thing we did um, today we went to the local Home Depot store so because I wanted to find some plants or flowers that would complement the uh, front door rug that I had purchased remember my fall shopping haul from home goods where I showed you the um, front porch uh, carpet or rug that I will be placing in front of the door it had the burgundy the reds the greens and I believe the golds well those um, are the colors that I'm working with today so I decided to pick up some orange and red moms from the Home Depot store so what I'm gonna do today is go ahead and plant those babies in um, this um, vase that I have had on my porch now since um, last Christmas so I uh, remember when I did the um, Christmas uh, decor front porch Christmas decor with um, lantern in the inside and the garland wrapped around but this is the same base and what I do is I just take different plants or trees and I just plant them in there I all um, already have this fern that's um, already in here and has been in there since the summer so what I'm gonna do is I took all of the other flowers out and what I'm gonna do now is just firmly uh, plant these nice moms red and orange moms in alongside this fern just to give it a pop of color on the porch and also since we went ahead and uh, pressure wash this porch I went ahead and took the vase off of the porch so that there won't be any debris or any stains from the plants that's dropping when the weather is wet or snow or anything like that so I just want to make sure that I don't stain the porch again with um, you know different colors the greens and different um, colors that may come from the uh, plants itself so you guys will you see me now I'm just firmly taking these out of um, each of the pots and I'm just placing them alongside this fern around this fern inside of the pot and I'm just going to add um, more dirt to it just to cover up the roots and everything because I don't want it to dry out before um, the uh, fall season um, you know is, is over with I actually want these to stay in this pot and grow and uh, be vibrant and thrive probably up until um, Thanksgiving if um, you know if it's willing so we're gonna see how that goes and if not I'll just simply change them out with something else and place something in the inside of them but for now this is what I've chosen to do and I think it's gonna give the porch and everything just a nice 
pop of color um, to enhance uh, or to play along with the colors that's on the uh, carpet uh, that's going to be on the front porch. Now you guys, here is the front porch rug that I am going to place in front of the double doors and I love the color. Um, I love the pattern, the color scheme. I love that the welcome sign is not really, really um, huge on the carpet that the leaves and the color of the leaves really play off of um, the uh, carpet and the brown tone um, as well. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add these reefs that I got from the at home store um, that I thought uh, had all of the colors that complemented not only the moms but they also complemented the carpet as well you have the reds the greens um the um, orange um you know and some hints of yellow and the uh, browns and the beige and so all of these colors are colors of fall and they play well together which is why i love the earth tone and the fall colors because they all complement each other in such a way that you know it's just um, it's just so so beautiful and just um, so uh, complementary to uh, the the color scheme that and the palette that is uh, basically put together. So now that I have the uh, wreaths on the door, I'm taking these two pillowful these are uh, two thankful pillows that I got also in my haul fall haul from the home goods store and I am just actually placing these inside of the chairs on the front porch I thought that these pillows was so gorgeous and so beautiful I love the um the orange and I love that they had the thankful um in uh stitched in the um you know uh the color that is in the uh brown or the beige and um I just thought that it really will set these two chairs on the porch off and that it would bring people eyes immediately to the porch and that the orange will also bring out the red that is in the rug the red that is in the mom flowers and the reds that are in the reefs on the door and let's not forget mr pumpkin mr pumpkin here and right above mr pumpkin i decided to uh, place my gather sign right above the bay window um, on the porch and that way when people eyes go up to the chairs and they see the thankful pillows in the chairs they will also see this gather sign uh, as, as well as Mr. Pumpkin that is placed in between both chairs on the table so you guys I think that everything is coming along well um, as I said the browns the golds the creams the beige um, I also decided to set this lantern here beside the um, first chair on the porch because I thought that a little bamboo lantern would bring out some of the beige and the brown accents as well and as you can see how I place these moms together I did the red orange red orange so that they wouldn't be all bunched together but so that it, they could just play harmoniously together in this vase and then in this corner where I took the vase out um, I it was looking a little empty so what I did was I took those two um, lanterns that I had inside the home um, and I put a large one there and a smaller one and then I placed the pumpkin right beside it just so that to fill that area so it would not look bare and then on the other side I just placed another um, a larger mom plant and another pumpkin alongside of that on the other side so you guys I feel like I have made this porch really really colorful really welcoming and I think that all the colors play well together um, and these reefs really uh, looks good from the sidewalk and from the street area um, it plays well with the brown double doors and the reflection from the glass doors um, it really really makes uh, this porch says hello to you happy fall and welcome and that's exactly what I was trying to obtain here just a welcoming porch a welcoming um, atmosphere for uh, not only uh, the, 
us that lives in the home, but for neighbors, for a lot of the neighbors that pass by. I have a lot of neighbors that walk on Saturdays and Sundays and some throughout the uh, week as well. And I love that, you know, when I see them walk by and I see them um, looking back at the porch and really admiring um, the things um, that's on the porch. And uh, it just really makes me feel very warm and fuzzy inside. And uh, so, yeah, I, I not only do this for me, but I also do it for, you know, the neighbors and the passerbys and, um, you know, the people that um, come by and, and look at the uh, houses and the porch. Now, also what we did uh, today on this porch, we also got a fresh coat of paint and we went around the rim of the door because, you know, sometimes the weather, um, as the years go by, the weather really uh, it's very harsh to your porch and your uh, outside surrounding area. So what um, Hubby did was he took the paint, the existing paint that we had when we first built this home, and he took the paint and he went outside and he decided to paint the columns and um, he painted the trim around the door. Just so that you don't know what a fresh coat of paint would do to anything. It really made these columns stand out and make them look brand spanking new. Remember he pressure washed them on part one of the front porch fall reveal on yesterday. And today he decided to paint them as well as paint around the trim of the double doors and this really 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 added something extra to this front porch it made it look fresh it made it look clean and it really brought oh out God, all the so colors good. in this color palette palette and scheme and you guys i i promise you fresh paint does it it, it does anything good it is it's always a positive so whenever you can apply fresh paint or new paint to something go ahead and give it a try because it will definitely definitely bring out the newness and the freshness of anything especially your home so you know not to mention that hubby just went running he just took it and he ran with it so he also decided to come along the garage doors and paint those as well because they really had a little wear and tear as well and so by him giving that a fresh coat of paint it also makes the garage um, area look better as well and so you know coming and going going in and out it really really um, did something with this front porch So you guys, this is actually one of our little intimate spaces that we love so much. Our front porch, you know, this is the south and most people, um, you know, I would prefer a porch any day other than just having a stoop because to me, a, a porch is all about family. It's all about being welcomed into the home. It's all about welcoming family and friends and just having a place to be able to sit and enjoy your home, not only in the backyard, but in the front yard as well. And so this is our favorite little place to come out during the fall time, have conversations, drink coffee, drink tea, or whatever it is that we may want to sip on. And, um, you know, just enjoy the scenery, the views, the neighbors, and um, all of the uh, construction and building of the new homes that they're building in our cul-de-sac. Soon, we will have five new neighbors. So it is uh, actually a joy to be able to look out and see the houses and the homes being built right here in our community, in our cul-de-sac. So you guys, you know, this is, um, it has been a pleasure to put together this video to show you how we like to rearrange our front porch um, if you haven't seen last year's fall porch, I'm going to make sure that I try to connect that video so that you can see that. There are plenty of videos that you guys may have not 
seen i um i urge all of you guys to go back into the archives and look at some of the videos from last year the home fall shopping video the fall decor the um the holiday all of the christmas videos you wouldn't want to miss a thing hey and if you are new to this channel if you was referred to this channel or you just stumbled across our channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you may also become a part of our growing family and i want to say hello to all of our new subbies hello and welcome yeah. welcome welcome we are so glad you guys are here coming up next we will be showing you uh, our fall uh, family room reveal and there are lots more videos to come we also have the fall tablescape to do and then we're going to get off into the holiday season so you guys this is your girl cindy signing out i will see you all in the next video Why are you?